Hey everybody, it's Alabama Deep coming back at you. And our, our little movement is happy as a clam. It's continuing to run, which is good. I'm changing my optics back to uh, times 10 instead of times 20. Whoops, because I no longer need to see that close up in order to continue the work on this watch. So we're back at times 10, which I think that helps out a lot. It's just I gotta be so damn close with this. And now I don't think I need to be. So, as promised, let me go ahead and flop this little sucker over. Awesome. I'm going to make sure that that's on there good. Alright, so let me come in here. Let me take a look, see what we got going on. Where's my little blue at? So we're going to loosen this jewel up. There we go. bring this in a range well shit <laughs> oh I keep having horrible luck don't I did y'all see that go pyong There it is. Excuse me, guys. I have the worst, the worst pair of tweezers on the face of the planet. Okay. Screw found. Nothing big. Nothing bad. Now, the question is, dare I or dare I not remove the jewel? Oh, bloody hell. What to do? Let me get my Rodico. Let's get my Rodico. Here's my erotico. Get a bigger piece of it here.
And I went ahead and I contacted the e eBay seller of this to show him the update. I like showing the people I buy things from what I've been able to accomplish. And uh, he may not be a novelist. It may have just may have just been something he bought and just resold quickly from a novelist somewhere somehow, and he may not have worked on it at all. He looks like he does high end repairs. Probably has some experience that I don't because he knows the names of some of the watches that I don't. Okay, there's the Rodico. This is my first time to really do this. <laughs> Let's see. Using Rodico anyway. Not as easy as it looks, does it? Well, you know, on the videos, they just kind of plop it right on in there and go for it. Comes right out. It's not doing that on this video. I kind of touched the jewel, went around it. Doesn't seem to be coming up, does it? Okay. Well, shit, we'll go to plan two. This is my second plan. It's running. It doesn't want to stop. I have to put it on my time graph tomorrow to see what it's actually doing. Let's come on over here. Let's not drown it now. Okay. Now look, I'm kind of hoping that that kind of goes under the jewel and lubricates the, <laughs> the, ax the axle. We'll see. I don't think it will, but I mean, damn it, I can try, right? There, okay, so there's that. Now, let me use a different set of tweezers. I don't like flying nuts going everywhere. Oh my, this is magnetized. Hate it when shit's magnetized. Okay, how's that?
You cocksucker. Ah. <sighs> That's exactly the shit I'm talking about. I'm as gentle as a lamb, and then shit happens. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Found it again. Make sure, that, yep, that's good. I hate it when shit sticks together. Do I have my better tweezers? God, this isn't much better. Oh, I need to get some better tweezers. I think I'll do that when I get paid. I'm going to order a new set of tweezers. Because these are not helping. Let me demagnetize this motherfucker. Alright. It's been demagnetized. Okay. You know, I'm not having no damn luck with that, am I? And it falls again. And it falls again. You know, I just continually don't have the best of luck with these. The thing is, the nerve damage in my hands have taken its toll. Okay, let's see if I can button this up and screw it down. There we go. 
I'll take that for a dollar. Right? How's that? Finally, it's back in. And now, I think what I will do, Mr. Rodico, you suck. Get all the little hairs off this. Let's put a little bit of grease right there. Well, a little bit of Earl before I put this on there. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, right? Look at this little piece right here. Let me check this out inside here. It's done so far. There we go. And excuse me, we have a cat trying to get in again. And I'm going to have to whoop its ass. Go on. Get. Fuck out of here. Go on. Go. Don't know why the damn thing wants to stalk me. It wants to stalk the living hell out of me. That's, that cat is loving and friendly and bad point is it's one of those that wants to bite the hell out of you every time you turn around. You know? Bites my face, bites my arm, claws me. Jumps on me. It's an abusive relationship. Okay, that's down. Now, I gotta get this on here. So, let me look at the feet of this watch. So, it'll be going on its side. Oh, excellent. Look at that. goes right in there. We'll tighten that up on its side in just a minute. Actually, let me go ahead and see if I can do that. Let me borrow this guy. Sorry. Okay, the feet have gone in. Ah. 
there are screw holes on the side of it and there are no screws there perfect right okay there's no place for screws <laughs> well okay fine 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 uh I guess for right now it can just we'll put it back to put the hands on it anyway and maybe by morning I can find some screws for it but I wouldn't mind going ahead and seeing this thing function as it, as it were how it used to let's have a look oh my oh yes they're a bit rusty. We're not rusty. They're a bit grody. There's both of them. This is a dome shaped watch. See that? Ooh. You know, I'm. I know this is probably gonna hurt y'all's ears, but I think this would be the perfect opportunity to put this in the ultrasonic just for just a second. Okay, just just for a second. These hands are extremely nasty looking. I do see uh, all types of stuff on them. I don't think it's going to hurt it just to go into ultrasonic for a few minutes. Sorry guys, you know, I already know this is going to hurt y'all's ears. Oh, it's gonna play havoc with the uh, with the uh, audio. All right, let's go ahead and kick it. Sorry, guys, it'll be just a few minutes. Let's grab a. Grab a Joe real quick while it's doing that. And enjoy another cigarette. We're probably looking at about maybe two minutes.
Okay, turn that off. Sorry. I know what that does to the audio system. Doesn't do very well at all, does it? Okay. So, we got those cleaned. Both of them came out. Let's see if those hands look any better. Oh yeah, they look a lot better. I'll take that for a dollar. Let me come in here and we'll clean them up just a little bit more. See what they look like on their side. Hasn't really helped too much with the top side. We're more than likely going to have to reloom it. <laughs> Wrong way. So we got one hand in place. Let's see if we can lock it down. Oh, this is just wonks the camera, don't it? Okay. I'm at the side so y'all can see what I'm doing. At least I hope you can. Okay, one hand. <sighs> Shit, that goes flying. The release didn't work as I was wanting it to. That scrape in the side. So let me straighten that point up a little bit on the end so it does not scrape. That should work. Hand is very delicate.
as can be expected. Let me see if I can lock that down now. There we go. So we have that on. So technically this is more together than what it ever has been. You probably God knows how long. Looks like the minute hand's already moving. A bit of coffee there. So, don't really have a second hand. Not that it came with it anyway. Pardon me. There is a place for a second hand, though. So, I'm wondering. With all these little mitts match pieces, where's my mitts match pieces at? There's a red second hand. Don't necessarily want to take it off there because this is just theory and practice right now. What I really want is I want. Let me light my cigarette back up and finish it. I really want just to see if it can handle <clears throat> one of these second hands off these more modern movements. So I'm wondering if it can handle one of those. Instead of using a good one I have, let's see if I can find parts. I've got all types of parts now. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. It's moving. That's good. Yay. I know I have some. Ah, here we go. Here's the junk hand drawer. Yep, nothing like a good smoke. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see what we have here in the in the in the line of. Now those were originally gold plated or brass or whatever it is, so we need a we need a gold one. There's a gold one. Do we have any others? There's another. Let's look at that, the size of that. That's a pretty big one, it looks like. So that may take this one right here. This one's all bent up. So let's try it. It'll be one or the other. Put that out. 
Let's grab another sip of coffee. Very good. And that's that more bent up one, it's smaller than this other one. So I'm willing to take a bet that this little more bent up one is going to work. Let me see here. And let me adjust that bend on there. <laughs> we'll bend it more upwards. All right. Looks like that probably may fit. I'll be extremely gentle on this. I mean, I could care to be a little less gentle. Same time, I don't want to do anything that's going to harm it. That's a negative. And you know what? We've all been taught working on watches. Do not force it. Therefore, I will not force it. So I will have to look into finding a second hand that will support it. Because this hole on this second hand is a lot bigger than what's on this other one. And I'm looking through here to see if there's any others. That could possibly go on. And I do not. I do not see any other second hands in my little junk drawer here. Well, I do see one, but its hole is about the same as the other. So we're not going to force it, guys. I would like to have a second hand swoosh tonight, but uh, no. This is just tinkering night anyway. So, okay, we have figured out everything we need to know about this watch and what I need to find for it. We have gotten this watch to work. And we can look at the hands. They need a lot of work, which we will do. And we will continue on with this little... Uh, movement that 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 could in the end and we'll find a second hand for it we will fix those other hands and I will get it into a case now I have this other case taken out of the 
vinegar. I'm not sure how clean it is. Go ahead and get things cleaned up a little bit with it. Maybe a little bath helped that case a, a tremendous amount. I don't know yet. We're about to find out. And we're going to see what we can do. So let's zoom back out. That's helped a lot. That will look good, I think. Don't you think? I think so. That'll look tremendous. So, okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. It's like 3.15 in the morning. I'm going to take this other crystal out. and I, I know it was all nasty and grody. I'm not sure how well the vinegar did with this. I know I'm going to get these scratches out of the crystal. Yeah, as we can see, that doesn't that doesn't really cut it, does it? No, not at all. So I think I'll uh, go ahead and sand this down the best I can. A little bit of toothpaste and high grade sandpaper should do the trick on that. We got some of that grossness off there. But nonetheless, that's not acceptable. So, okay, we'll continue this off. Uh, cleaning up the crystal, cleaning up the case, getting a nice strap on it, finding a second hand, uh, finding two screws to hold the dial in place, and that'll be our final video on that coming up. So until then, guys, uh, rest easy. If you have any comments on Invicta or this particular model or if you have an Invicta that's like maybe a 34 36 millimeter that's from the same air uh, that you would be willing to part with or have me repair uh, leave a comment below and we'll get in touch ta-ta for now